Body camera video from a deadly hit and run crash. An armed carjacker fleeing police and slamming into an innocent driver. And one of the suspects was back in court today. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live in Port Lauderdale with this update. Cody. Nicole and Louis police say this car of juveniles. They had just robbed a man of his vehicle at gunpoint. At that point, they took off driving recklessly at speeds over 130 miles per hour on I-95, according to police. And when they were getting off I-95, they allegedly ran a red light and slammed into another vehicle. New video shows the moment of impact in a May 10th T-bone crash that took the life of a woman. It happened at I-95 and Copens Road. In the vehicle traveling on Copens Road, Patricia Schmelz. Behind the wheel of that vehicle that police say ran a red light while getting off I-95, 16-year-old Justin Edmond. He appeared in court today, his attorney showing this body-worn video to the judge. I might have a seven in there. Attorney Jim Lewis says an officer mistakenly believed Schmelz had died on impact, leading to a delay in paramedics arriving. You can hear me? Okay. This is a horrible tragedy, what happened to the lady who was killed in the crash. But it's also, I think, not unimportant that she could have survived, that the paramedics weren't called for almost 15 minutes, and that she had been pronounced dead by one of the other officers while they attended other matters. Lewis had hoped the judge would set a bond for his client who is being held on pretrial detention. The judge declined. And I still would have made the finding even if she was alive, if she survived. Schmelz's family spoke to Local 10 shortly after the crash. That should have never happened to her. She had no idea that was happening. Justin Edmond now facing a total of 28 charges. He is being charged as an adult. We're live in Fort Lauderdale tonight. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.